Hello, I'm Ryan with Mountain Comfort RV, here to do a walk around with you. Uh, show you around, show you everything that's uh, on this Galleria, where it's located and how to use it. Um, start over here by the entry door. The door itself is a power door, automatic, it has a switch over here by the door jam. Then to open it, just pull the handle, and it's an automatic door, so it will open itself. Power awning with the LED lights above that. The controls will be inside, which I'll show you shortly where the controls are for all the lights in the awning. Outside here, we have a hookup for 110 volt. Table, anything I've set up outside, stereo. On the back, back door, we have a bike rack. With this bike rack, it has two latches, one on each side that has to be opened. And then it lays down. And then on the left side, you'll have two knobs you'll have to loosen. Then extend the platform for the bikes. Tighten the knobs back down to secure it. Then you would mount your bikes with the straps that are located there. And these would strap to the frame of the bikes to hold them in place. Everything tightens down so you can adjust it to the size of the bike itself. And then when you're finished, you just do the opposite to close it up. Tighten the knobs back down for travel. Lift the arms out of the way. And then they'll just rest, it's all adjustable and then clip them back in place. Inside the back door, we have a handle on both sides. Open those up. Inside this bag here, we'll have the windshield cover for the front, secured in the bag. And then underneath the rear seat, we have storage for the table in the bedroom, some floor mats, and an outside hose. On the driver's side exterior is where this hose will hook up. Power cord for the shore cord, 30 amp cord. Water hookups for your Hose, fresh water is all located inside here. You have a fresh water inlet, the city water connection. You hook your hose into that. And then above that, you have a diagram that shows you if you're running city or if you're doing the tank fill, which will fill your holding tank. So either city in the down position for full-time hookup, horizontal for tank fill for your filling your holding tank, fresh water holding tank. You also have a black tank flush located back here, which flushes the black holding tank. While you use this, you want the drain underneath open to flush out the drain, the actual tanks. You have a hose here, which will go into the sewage. Gray handle for your gray tank, black handle for the black tank. And once again, if you're flushing the black tank, you would want that open, allowing it to flush out. You do have a macerator pump, which is located right inside to the left, which will pump out that holding tank. When you're draining it, put this into your drain, open your valve, and then hold your macerator pump, pumping out the wastewater. Hot and cold located up here for your sprayer. And it's just a garden hose sprayer, so you can wash off outside. And a little kickstand here to hold the lid open for you. 
uh, up here in the driver's door you have your tank fill for your diesel so that's where you'd fill your your tank for your diesel fuel and then we'll pop the hood show you what we have underneath the hood here There's a hood prop to the left to hold the hood up. You have def fluid for the diesel. This is where it will fill at. You'll have a gauge inside on your dash. that will tell you the level of that fluid. Coolant reservoir located here. Oil fill. Air filter box. On the right side of the engine, you have the washer fluid reservoir, brake fluid reservoir, and if you were to jump start this vehicle, this is where you would hook your positive cable up for your jumper cables on the battery. Just give it a twist, push back, exposes the terminal. That's all I see in there. Negative cable would hook up to here, to that stud. So that would be for the negative on the jumper cable. Uh, we can go inside now if you're ready for that. Inside to the entry door on the left, you have all your lights. Master switch will turn your lights on and off, or you can select your light page and it will show all your lights independently. So you can turn them on and off as needed. Go back to the home page, your awning, extend and retract switch is on that page. You can see your furnace where it's set up, or your air conditioner, I'm sorry, air conditioner, and you can set the temperature for your air. Fresh water tank gauge, gray water tank gauge, and black water tank. LP tank is full. And water pump switch would be this switch here. Illuminated blue would turn it on, gray would be off. Battery voltage for the house, battery voltage for the chassis. Generator start stop switch. You just hold the button and it will turn it on or stop it. And then you have an Auto generator start setting, which if you select, will allow you to enable or disable the automatic generator start. Doing so will allow that to turn on and off. If it triggers at certain voltages or calls for power, it will turn itself on. That is disabled right now, which is easily enabled by just hitting the enable button. Going back to the generator page, allows you to set up that generator start with times, voltage, and how long it would run. That's all settings on that page. Back to your lights. Thermostat for the air conditioner. You would just turn the air conditioner on, select your temperature, and then it will automatically control the fan and turn on and off to control that, air, that temperature. And then setting page for the mobile app, Diagnosing the network, technician would usually use this to diagnose a problem. Screen brightness can be controlled from there or the clock adjust. There is a table located which is made to go into the pedestal here. Turn clockwise to tighten. And then the table just sits on the post. You can have it set up however you'd like. And 
then to loosen counterclockwise and then this stud here will pull out of the base and that will store back behind the driver's seat your refrigerator is located right inside the entry has the refrigerator on top ice box on the bottom both of them have a thermostat in it to control temperature located in the back microwave is a convection microwave so you could bake in it or use it as a standard microwave the controls are on it for convection and then you select your temperature and time and it would start or you could just cook power select your time or set your clock all from the control board there inside the cabinet to the left of the microwave you have more switches for your furnace and water heater which are located here so you would touch the knob to turn it on it'll cycle through so this would be for your furnace we would press the knob to enter select our temperature press the knob to enter and our furnace would run at 72 degrees to go to the water heater we would go over to the water heater setting it gives us the option for hot economy off or it has a boost option the boost option will allow you to run the shower and it will shut off the furnace to allow more heat to go to the shower that will only run for about 30 to 40 minutes and then it will return back to hot or eco depending on what setting you have the next setting is going to be for your gas or electric setup depending on what setup you're using so if you're plugged in you can run mix 2 which will run your gas and your electric to run your furnace or your water heater if you want it to run just off gas you can select the gas mode and then your fan switch would be the next mode which would be economy or high and that would just change how strong the fan blows you have a solar panel on off switch in the same cabinet to turn on and off the solar panel charge battery disconnect for your 12 volt battery so if it's in storage you would store if you're using it you'd have it in use Motion lights are for the in cabinet lights, which are motion activated. Ground effects are the outside LED ground effect lights. And then here you have a Wi Fi Ranger, which that switch turns it on and off. And then to log into that Wi Fi Ranger is a tag to the right in that cabinet, has all the login information. Tank heaters for their holding tanks are all located here and these are for this fresh tank gray tank and black tank and that will keep your tanks from freezing to a temperature of around 20 or more you if it's below 20 you don't want to count on those to hold the tank from freezing because it could still freeze in spots so I'd recommend anything below 20 to have the unit winterized you also have an inverter control in here which turns on and off the inverter and that will give you 110 off your 12 volt batteries for power outlets things of that sort and your solar charge controller is located over here which is set up it will give you options of your amperage and your voltage and let you know if the battery is full or charging and give you an idea on the status of the batteries uh, it's all it's located in that cabinet you have your packet and manual in the cabinet to the next of it. it has all your paperwork there are also more keys located in in the red packet so these are for the engine the chassis to unlock and lock the doors it does have a remote button for the sliding side door to open and close it So we have four of those keys, one the ignition now, 
and then these three spares. Inside here, I can show you the cooktop. So on the cooktop to ignite it, you have these two knobs. You're gonna go over to the spark, press and hold, and press the button to ignite it. Let it get warm, and then you can let off the knob and it will stay lit. Then control your flame. Same with the other one. Go to the light, press and hold, ignite, let it get warm, and then you can let off and adjust your flame. Water is hot and cold at the kitchen. You just run it until it gets good and hot. And same in the shower. So give me some room here. Inside the shower, you have the kitchen sink or shower sink, hot and cold and it does extend for the actual shower. Hot and cold there. And this is a recirculation pump which will allow the water to get to temperature before you turn it on. So you turn your water on hot, then this little indicator here will turn white to let you know that the water is hot before you turn it on. As it's starting to change colors now and then you would turn this dial over to shower. And that will give you your hot water. Then if you wanna pause and lather up with soap, you would just turn that back over to invert, then rinse back off with hot water. When you're finished, you can shut it to the off position. Hang that up, and it'll drip dry. You have a drain for the shower, your sink, and then of course the toilet has a pedestal on the right to flush the toilet. So halfway down we'll give you water. All the way is water and flush. Uh, shower curtains located inside there as well, so when you do shower, you keep the water inside the shower. has a max air ceiling fan vent with a remote control which is controlled just by this it does have a rain sensor which will turn it on and off if it does rain it'll close it. it has a thermostat on it so you can select temperature it shows you if it's open close and the percentage of the fan speed which can be all changed and on and off will open and close it as well that's located on the wall here in the holder. Underneath that, you have your breakers and fuses for the unit. It has all the 110, and they're labeled, and all your 12 volt fuses. If it blows a fuse, a little red LED light comes on and shows you through this window that it's blown. It makes it easier to find out which fuse you have. Carbon monoxide LP leak detector here hardwired in so it's always on as long as that disconnects on your TV and radio are located back here they both have a remote and the TV does swivel it's on a mount so you can change the direction of the TV and the cabinet above the TV is your stereo also does the DVD player and Bluetooth so you can play a movie through this to the TV. Zones A will turn the volume up inside for the DVD or stereo depending on what input you have. Hit the mode button, will change from AM, FM, Bluetooth to your auxiliary. Then it has a rear auxiliary, HDMI, and back to AM. So when you put the DVD in, it's going to go to HDMI, and that's going to feed to the TV. And that remote would be this one here for the stereo, this one here for the TV. The table has an adjustment on it to swivel, 
and it locks into place. Also locks in at the bottom where it can be changed to this other mount on either side or taken down to make this into a full bed. The switch for this bed is located under the cabinet and that just activates the bed, allows it to lay flat. You have cup holders on both sides of the bed that fold up. Reading lamps above it has a touch button. You just tap and we'll turn the light on, the night light, back to the light. Has USB charging ports on it as well. Then you have a clothes hanger. Back in the very back. Air conditioner is located in the ceiling above that and a smoke detector with a good battery behind it. These are just storage up above on both sides. Sink cover located in this drawer. Just a nice little sink cover. More storage. trash bin in the storage here just cabinet storage do have a paper towel holder located under the cabinet above the sink and I believe that's most everything go over the cab part show you how the radio and the ignition will work Here are the keys for the unit. So it's a keyless ignition. You have to hold the brake and touch the button to start it. Then on the radio, you have your rear view camera. Has the radio option the camera options, different views for your camera, so you can get a wide view of everything behind you, a narrow view, or a trailer hitch view. Back to the radio, it has different AM, FM, navigation, media, as far as Bluetooth, and different settings for the vehicle itself is all located through the radio here. Heat and air is located underneath that. On these switches here. You control it by turning it on, set your temperature, fan speed, and direction. AC switch, hazard lights, front defrost, air recirculation, and rear defrost switch. This switch down here is for the side door so you can open and close your side door just by touching the button. All of the controls on the steering wheel control the radio so you can select different options and everything as you're driving through the steering wheel controls. Volume, preset, cruise control is all located on the steering wheel. On this unit, to go from park to reverse to neutral to drive is all on this shifter here. So you would press down to go into drive, up to go into reverse, turns the rear view camera back on, push in on the button on the end, puts it in park. On the left side, you have your wiper switch, turn signal, and bright control.
to the left of that, you have your seat adjustment for the power seats, door locks, lock and unlock, and heated seats. So that's the switch to turn on the heated seat. Memory switches to set the memory for the seating. Power window switch and power mirror switch to adjust your mirrors. It does have a roadside lamp that comes with it and a first aid kit that'll be in the storage. Some touch up paint in this bottle here should be with the storage as well. Above the driver's center you have light switches for your entry lights which you can turn on and off. If you had the doors open and you're camping you can turn all those off. Reading lamps you can turn on and off and the same with the back lamp. And these just turn everything on and off. If you have an emergency, the SOS button would contact you with emergencies, emergency personnel, and this button here would be for service in case you had any issues with the chassis. To shut off the engine, you would just hit the start stop button again, which shuts off everything, and it will remind you to take your key with you. Parking brakes to the right of the pass or to the driver's seat. Just pull it up to engage it. Push the button on the end and lay it down to disengage it. Power seats for the passenger seats, the same as the driver. It's on the passenger door. You can set memory, heated seats, door unlock and lock, all from the passenger door. The fire extinguisher is located behind the passenger seat. Yeah. Then you have a screen door for your side. Just gently pull it over and it'll give you some protection from bugs. Gently put it back in place. The awning will open. You would tap your extend. It's going to automatically come out. It will stop when it's fully out. To retract, you tap the retract button. And it will fully retract on its own. I believe that is about everything that I can show you on the Galleria.